that Do I've noticed has done versus K Brad in order to win this matchup is scramble a lot. Scramble is the move where DiCaprio teleports and then either fakes back, does a ground pound, does a slide, does yeah. various follow ups. And K Brad has shown that he has a tough time dealing with that. Part of that's Cammy, part of that's him as a player. We'll see if that's what Do starts out with. Well, right now we have a good neutral game here with some footsies. Obviously their buttons are extremely Ooh, similar. Nice. Uh, DiCaprio, a clone of Cammy in the story with a lot of similar normals. So uh, their ranges are pretty similar in general. But Cammy's gonna be wanting to get in Ooh. there a little harder. K Brad getting in there has do in the corner. Now, now something important to nice. note is that while well, DiCaprio does have a reversal, without meter she has to guess. One of them is hidden bowl, one of them is projectile bowl, one of them is throw in bowl. So you can meaty throw a DP if they choose the wrong one. And right now he has no meter, so the offense is extremely in K Brad's favor. Drops combo. Gonna have to watch those. Walks um, right up and throws them. Spikes there. And yes. Okay, win by K Brad. A big thing K-Brad likes to do is jab into the short. A lot of people are used to the first hit of the string being the low. So when the second hit is the low, it catches a lot of people off guard trying to backdash or jump. Nice Very, oh, the oh, oh hey. reset! This could be a stun and one more hit gets blocked! Still, no, this is going to stun it! And this is going to be almost the entire life bar. One more hit, one more throw will kill him. Whoa! And there Very we go. Smart. We saw a bunch of people, including K Brand himself, saying this is going to be free, but Knuckle Dew is down 1 0. One more game will get him out, and he was convincingly beaten. Yeah. Right there. You know, it was very smart, solid gameplay there by K Brad. And let's see what uh, Knuckle Dew is sticking with DiCaprio and. Uh, yeah, they actually did go back to the carriage like, so Oh, not, I'm sorry. Yeah, we're no. not sure what's going to happen here. DiCaprio is who he's dominated with. I don't necessarily think it's smart to switch here, but. He's done well with a variety of characters versus K-Brad. He beat him with Guile last night. That may be more comfortable for him. But K-Brad has never beaten his DiCaprio. So despite losing one match, I'm not sure what he should do here. And obviously, he is not either. Yeah. Uh, you I'm, know, and there's nothing wrong with taking a minute to sit back and think, OK, we're in top eight. There's a lot riding on all of this. So Du has a lot of choices. He can play multiple characters. Um, but right now, it looks like K-Brad is on a roll. So he's going to want to choose someone that he feels comfortable with, that might be Guile. What, what, it, it very well could be Guile, it very well could be DiCaprio. What I liked about what K-Brad did that last game is instead of spending his meter mm -hmm. on DP FADCs to get out of pressure, he spent his meter offensively. We saw him do Spiral Arrow FADC to get more damage. We saw him do Spiral, FAD, spiral Arrow FADC to do a reset that hit him into a stun. Yes. And we spent all his meter just to stay in because he knew once it reset to neutral, DiCaprio, DiCaprio was gonna be a little much for him to handle. So I think we're going to see him have the same strategy, using all his meter, all his resources to stay offensive. And, and Dew is still debating this. Ends up with Guile. This is not considered a good matchup for Guile. Most people would take this in Cammy's favor. However, I think Dew feels a little more comfortable, comfortable down a game. Yeah, that's definitely it. You know, sometimes the character that you use the most, you know, in a stressful situation, you automatically think of your reactions with them and their combos and things like that. So. Hopefully he'll be able to make better changes with Guile. Well, I start with a back this classic two opening. One of the things you see here do you do here is oh. one of the things that makes a Guile player good yes. is when and when they do not throw sonic booms. And right now, since he's not jumping, he's throwing a bunch of them. Oh, oh and the shades is. are already coming out. Jeez, Whoops. he does not care. Down one round and who cares? Nice but this is where it all starts. Red. This is Ooh. one of those matchups that despite being at a life disadvantage, oh it's very, very obvious in my opinion that Cammy's in the lead. Dude's stuck in the corner with a dizzy. This will not kill, but a reset, a throw to get a better nice. situation. Another and another throw. throw, even Chip will kill here. Wow. K-Brad in there one more round to take four straights and knock oh. Knuckle Dew into loser's bracket. This would be huge. Let's see what uh, Dew can do. And Bates that, he's gonna get a big punish. But we saw K-Brad come back from behind earlier. Okay, sets it back to neutral. But oh, in my. the corner now, this is really tough. Very Here nice jump go. back, beats that. He's gonna see himself get out of the corner. Do looking really strong in this round so really far. Really strong, but yet again, Cammy can do anything as long as oh, she has the advantage. Bad read. Two more hits will kill him. Very nice flash kick. 
Nice overhead. Yes. That's and the it. chip there would have done it no matter what. There was very little candy food that to get out of that. Okay, Dew has a full super bar, and K Brad, I believe, has. Uh, He's just out of one stick of butter. All right. And the dinosaurs are going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> One of the new SFXT pages. K Brad finally gets out to an early lead. We have not seen that versus Guile yet. Misses a huge combo oh. to potentially stun him, and this is going to change the outcome of the game entirely. Back dashes, but puts nice himself in the corner. There. Very Ooh. nice. Throw back to the center of the screen. Jabbed out. Backs himself into a corner again. Oh, okay. That distance. Two hits does a lot of damage here. K Brad trying to get in. Does not bite on the frame trap whatsoever. K Brad trying Ooh. to avoid jumping and instead outputsies him. He could have gotten an ultra, but decides not oh. to. And this kill. That is it. Very clutch. One, um, one. Extremely shocked he did not go for the ultra there after the flash kick juggle, but instead goes for the walk up throw. That is rough. K Brad had a huge advantage there and stifled it. We're down to 1 1. We're definitely going to see Cami again. We're definitely going to see the same matchup. Yes. This is the closest we've seen this ever come in tournament for sure. Most definitely. Man, these two are really going at it. I think oh. this is going to be uh, definitely a great match here. Sonic Boom stuck around. Another one. What Knuckle is doing here is fighting for screen control. Despite being the defensive character in the matchup, the more he can walk forward, the less room Cammy has to breathe and the more she gets nice close to the corner. But Spiral Arrow is an extremely good corner carry move and brings him there. And yet again, back in K-Brad's advantage almost immediately. Kyle, a low stun character, getting hit with a max damage combo. I don't think he's, oh, this might just kill. I don't know. It's going to be close either way. Yo, okay. Red focus in this game is actually your highest damage starter off of a stun. And he knew that with the ultra stock, it was very, uh, just a one hit stun combo and it would kill him. Stun in this game actually follows up on the combo that went into it. So if you punch the one hit for stun, it starts a two hit combo scaling wise. Oh man. But in the corner now, this is a really tough situation. Any jump can be anti aired, except oh. for one that you don't try. Oh. And now the situation's a turn. Throne sets up his best setup. Oh. K, K Brad trying to get something started here. What we're seeing Gabriel do is walk in and focus in this range where Guile can't oh. do anything but flash kick to beat it. Oh man, anti air there. We're I going do. to the last round of this match. This is it. Man, talk well, we about taking Sonic start every round. There's not much we can do. It's sweep to anti air, no. but the throw tech gets beaten by the EX dive kick oh. and another flash kick. Oh boy. Oh, man. We're, we're not seeing do do much to beat these focus attacks. Man, the movement here is amazing. Oh, Good yeah, K-Brad is getting in and staying in. Back into the corner here. The thing about this is that it actually makes it a little bit harder for Cammy to cross whoa, whoa, whoa. up. But she dodges the flash kick, and here's a setup. The throw tick has been hitting wow. him constantly. Unfortunately, he doesn't get the mix up there. Do is out. We have seen zero DPs from K-Brad defensively. Zero DPs yet again. And one more hit will kill him, oh, one more that's chip. It. And that'll, that's oh, it. k Brad oh, takes it. Oh, okay. Will they shake hands is the it's question of the day and they won't even try. No, that was, but that was a good win. Boy, those guys took it round for round. A solid play, solid play on both. Yeah. And, and what a story, k Brad has been losing